man, got this thing on, man. We back in here, back in the building, family. Whew, y'all give me a little minute. <clears throat> give me a little minute and we're going to start everything up. Bear with me, family. Been a crazy long weekend for me. But I made it through, right? You made it through. made it through, right? Got a few things I'm going to talk about today. And I'm going to get on up off of here, give me a little bit more rest, family. But happy moon day. Happy moon day to the goddesses, right? Y'all seen serious acting a fool over the weekend. Moon still shining on my side. So, yeah. Happy Moon Day to my goddess, you know. Let's see. Let's go and get this thing started, family. Bow with me, bow with me. <laughs> Strange Black Beats. Time and in family stand by. We're gonna get the show started here in a minute. You know how we do it, we vibe out for a little minute. I hope y'all had a great weekend. Somebody, so we gonna go in on them again today. This moon day. Really not thinking like you know what I'm saying like that, but just keeping my clear conscience, you know what I'm talking about. But we gonna speak on a few things, right? Cause ain't nobody, you know, ain't nobody really speaking on this shit. So we gonna do it today for a little minute. I ain't gonna be on here for long. Same to you, God. Peace, peace. Same to you, God. Gotta tap in with the with the spirit. Tap in with the universe, with my universe, right? We gonna go in. Peace, 
appreciate everybody that did this time and then, you know what I'm talking about? We're going to leave this video up. Sweating I already know it's going to be fine. Kundalini rising, Corona rising, right? That light and that knowledge hit me, man. I know y'all feel it too. and everything and I'm uh I'm back family I'm back so welcome back to another episode of crisis counseling right family where we keep it true and we keep it transparent all right uh if you're new to the channel you know I seen been seeing a lot of people been coming to the page and stuff so welcome to everybody that's new to the channel, right? You're a part of the part of my soul family. If you hear the messages, right? You initiate it. If you hear the message, right? So remember, remember, crisis counseling is all about, you know, handing you the mirror, handing you the mirror, so you can look in the mirror at what you, you know, what you going through at this time as this whole world is going through a crisis right family so much going on so please remember i'm not trying to improve you right i'm not trying to improve you you already won family as miss blue said you already won until you realize that you gonna be fooled by all of these people that is still talking about success and all of this stuff when you are already successful, family, you are already a wealthy family. You are already wealthy, right? I'm not trying to persuade you either. Remember that I'm not trying to persuade you to a certain point of view, right? I'm not trying to persuade you to a certain point of view. I'm only here talking to those that can hear my message, right? You the Christ. I'm the Christ. We all are one. I am one with my people and my people are me, right? So I'm not trying to convert you as a pastor would or a preacher would, right? Because if I would say that, then it would be like me stealing something from you out of your pocket, right? And trying to sell it back to you. That's what this not, a, then we ain't on that, right? We passed that level. We passed that level. We not talking to the babies right now, right? The people that still believe in this lower God, right? We not talking to them. They don't know no better, right? In fact, I'm not trying to tell you nothing. Like I said, I'm only reaching to those who can hear my message, right? I'm not always going to be right to everybody, and I'm not trying to be right. Um... Uh, we living in our own universe, in our own little realm, right? As we living in a, together as a collective as well. So like I said, I'm not here to tell you nothing. I'm only talking to those who vibrating on my frequency, right? So, so much going on, man. One brother asked me to speak on the... Uh, what that shit he asked me to speak on the uh, Will and Jada Smith shit, right? And we 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 have things mixed up, right? We always worried about something that we have no business worrying about, right? Uh, basically, all I can say, man, is you gotta enjoy yourself. You gotta find some kind of way to enjoy yourself, family, because you see what happened over the weekend, right? 
all the all the super conscious niggas that was saying the white man supposed to be going on this killing spree and you look on the news right all it was was mo mo niggas killing you know what i'm saying killing these babies right they ain't you know they ain't, they don't have no consciousness and it was like the last live we was talking about when i was reading the gnostic scriptures that's just because somebody black or just because somebody look human don't mean they actually human family so that's why we saying you gotta get to a point where you enjoying yourself whatever that is get into it family because people have got done lost they 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 god fear in mind right the god within them and by that they they don't know how to enjoy themselves going through this crisis that we going through right they don't know how to enjoy themselves so they go you know the, over the weekend uh what it was like 34 goddamn shootings in new york and atlanta you know it was so much shit going on and they you know gonna shot all them you know, them little young kids up and stuff and it's crazy that's why you gotta find out a way how to enjoy yourself if it's the ps4 you know what i'm saying play the ps4 do some shootings or something on now right we shouldn't be attacking our own selves right but Negro so so called said that it was gonna be the white man that was gonna start a mass shooting over the weekend, and it wasn't even them, right? So the war that we going through is not a physical war, as Uncle Bobby said. This shit is spiritual. That's why you gotta have that spirit with you. You gotta have that spirit on you, family. You gotta start serious in here. Peace to you, goddess. And so. We have access to power, family, but if you not, you know what I'm saying, obtaining, if you not cultivating your consciousness every day, you just wasting your energy. What do I mean by that? You wasting your energy because you steady giving it away to the bullshit. You steady giving it away to the bullshit. Uh, they say the corona on the rise, right? But uh, you got Trump talking about that is 99.9%, you know, you you not going to catch it. This thing is not that much of a threat. But they know that's why they playing this good cop, bad cop, right? They got you stuck in duality. You have to get to a point where you become the monk, the non-duality family. Uh, and I don't mean to get nobody hung up when I tell them to meditate. That's just medication, right? Don't, you know, don't use this knowledge and information and get stuck. Like Uncle Bobby say, he not the end all and be all. Dr. Phil say the same thing. All of those who really want to teach you something and free you, tell you don't follow them. Don't follow me. It's all about becoming who you are, right? Because we living in this Western world where we, when we was born, we was taught we were sinners, right? When we was born, we was taught to basically not believe in ourselves, believe up in the bullshit, right? So when you get off in this consciousness, it's just a door, family. But some people get off into this consciousness and they make it a revolving door, right? They steady spinning around in the same area when you supposed to go through the door to go and open another door, create another door, create your own door, right? It's, it's about convincing your mind that what you say is right. It's not gonna be right to everybody, right? It's not gonna be right to everybody. Like I said, we're not trying to persuade nobody believe in what you believe in you say by your faith right so if you believe in the dogma if you believe in the nonsense every day you stay going through this circle revolve the, the revolving door the revolving door that keeps you spinning around in a circle 
And it's even worse when you got dealing with parasites that keep you spinning around in the in the revolving door, right? So this universe is no puzzle, right? There's no puzzle to this universe. They know how powerful you are. They know who you are, right? They know how much precious you are. So you can't get distracted, right? You can't get distracted. And today's topic is your desires always become your reality, whether you believe it or not. Whether you conscious or unconscious of it or not, your desires always become your reality. So, with all the mess going on in the world today, what are your true desires? What do you desire? Right? I want what you want, right? And I don't even know what you want, right? And it sounds crazy, right? But you have to understand your desires are creating your reality, right? Some people want this shit to end. Some people want this shit to keep going on. And you got many, 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 many people hurting. They don't know what to do. Every day this shit bombarding their consciousness. Every day, right? Every day is somebody trying to trick you, right? And that's one thing about this world, right? The people that's of this world, that's really of this world, they are very clever at putting you down, right? They are very clever at putting you down. They are very clever at talking down to you. So if you miss the subtle little messages the spirit trying to show you, you miss out. Like we saying, all these people that's, that's worried about the mess, right? You got to let that stuff go, man. You got to learn how to enjoy yourself. So to the brother that was like, man, can you speak on the Will and Jada thing? Man, all I can say, man, is certain people don't understand that we get into these karmic relationships, man, and things become is what they are, right? And no matter how long you've known these people, man, they gonna show their true colors because that's the time that we living in. We, we going into the fifth dimension, right? And as you start leaving the manifestation of your physical body, shit gonna become more easier to manifest. I already showed y'all a picture the other day. Shit gonna become more easy to manifest and so we moving into the 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 astro body and the in the and the astro mind, your 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 cosmic mind, the things that you truly think of and desire are gonna be so easy to manifest. It's gonna scare the fuck out you if you don't understand. If you don't control your thoughts, and when I say control your thoughts, I'm not saying you know. We just saying, don't get tricked by your thoughts, right? Because like we were saying, every thought is not yours, right? You you already see it. It's, it, it takes a, a lot for people to just make a simple decision, right? They get anxiety when it deals, when it comes to making a decision. But they can go out there and do some stupid shit off, you know, no thought about it, right? Cause it don't it don't take a a lot of energy to make a, a dumb decision, but when it comes to trying to, you know, truly understand who you are, truly, you know, manifest what you want, you get a lot of anxieties, right? You get a lot of worry. Have you thought about this thing enough, right? And to be truthfully and honest. When you come in to make a decision, you can it, it can be millions of outcomes, family. But how you view it, how you see it, is what's what's more important than the decision. Actually, you can't control the outcomes, right? You can't control the outcomes if you're full of this anxiety, if you're full of uh, worrying about how it's gonna end, right? How it's going to come out. So, 
like I was saying, people that's of this world are very clever at putting you down and talking down to you, right? And talking you out of yourself, right? I'm just saying it earlier. We was we was taught to, you know, we was taught to not be ourselves, not, you know, that we wrong, that we sinners, right? We was born sinners, what they tell us, right? But as the Gnostic scriptures, right, it spoke about so much, so many different things, right? It talk about the three different humans, the spiritual human, the psychical human, right? And the uh the last human is basically what they were saying, the material human, right? The people that just can't get over the material world. But because maybe that's where they started from. Some of us then start in the material world, right? I don't really care for material things, right? So I have to learn how to enjoy myself through my imagination, family. I had to learn how to enjoy myself through my imagination, through my music, right? You know, and that's and this one to all the artists out there. If you gonna be making some music right now, it need to be some music that really matter. Cause that's one thing that has that has targeted us for so long. All of this different music that we used to listen to, you know what I'm saying? These rappers have brainwashed a lot of people. This is what I'm trying to say. They have brainwashed a lot of people. These artists have brainwashed a lot of people, and they listening. They've been listening to this shit for years, and not understanding that. The Demiurge has been using them to attack us as well. So we at war with, we think we at war with every other nation, but we honestly at war with ourselves. So that's why you can see all of these brothers go out and kill and shoot these little babies out here and not have no conscience of it, right? But they dare not. They dare not speak up to this so-called white man that got them oppressed, right? That got them chained up. That got them down in the world. You know what I'm saying? We got to get out of this victim mindset. You know, they, you know, for the brothers that think this is a physical war, you only wasting your energy, family. Like I said, you haven't accessed your power because you waste it every time on the bullshit. You waste it every time on the bullshit then you wonder why you're going through what you're going through. This the time, family. The fifth dimension has shifted. And once it get even higher, the frequency get even higher, you're going to, like I said earlier, you're going to start seeing things manifest so easy. The shit going to scare you, right? Your true desires are, are coming easier to manifest, right? So... We make things complicated and explaining them, right? We make these things complicated when we trying to explain it, right? So I be lit and that's why, you know, cause words like these words, they, this language, it puts a limit on when we trying to express these spiritual things, right? Because this is not our language. This is not the way we normally think. We we living in the Western world. We 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 thinking in the Western world mindset. You know, people got this holier than Nile syndrome, right? You know, niggas mad talking about uh, one nigga was saying how how the college trying to uh, recruit Ti to teach college students uh trap music and all this shit. Man, you got to understand, these, sub, these celebrities are showing who they truly are. They've been showing who they truly are, but like we've been saying the whole time, everybody's showing their true colors regardless because we shifting it to another dimension, right? And they can't do nothing but do what they've been doing. You can't you can judge these people, but don't judge them in this holy-than-thou syndrome, right? You you got to get up out of that. You came down here to experience what you need to experience just like the next person. You got to find out why you down here. 
that's the whole deal. You Once you get this shit figured out, life is a cinch, right? It's a cinch. You ain't got to stress over nothing. In the midst of the chaos, you still doing good, right? You still living. You still breathing. You still, you know, living out your dreams instead of living in the illusion. Sleep like most of the people. They not going to wake up until we going to get it right, family. So, like I was saying earlier, when it comes to this con this consciousness, don't use this shit as a vein of knowledge, right? Because some of us come down here and we go through these things. We go through all of these things, right? All of these problems. We solve the problem, but then what else we do? We, we create more problems just to create and solve more problems, right? And that's why we say you got to use this knowledge to elevate yourself on another level. Because I'm not trying to improve you. I'm not trying to tell you that you wrong or that I'm right. That's what it's not about. I'm not trying to persuade nobody, right, to a certain point of view. This is only my point of view. I know my Christ energy. I use that Christ energy, right? Came down here and I didn't know this stuff. Until I woke back up because of all those who came before me to make sure that I woke back up, right? And it's a blessing, you know, to have this knowledge. And sometimes it can be a curse because like I was saying earlier, you can get, you can get in, you can open the door and then usually you stuck right down that same level going, going in circles, going in circles instead of evolving evolving because you a you a chaos being right you a chaos being you supposed to become you know this non-duality right certain people get stuck is this way or it's not and they don't understand that's why most of this stuff going on right because we talking about your desires always become a reality some of these people are the COVID-19, right? Because they fucked up and they desires, all they desires fucked up. You know what I'm saying? They wake up on the same shit every day and they can't grow. They stuck at this certain level. Their desires are not really true, right? They love is not really true and genuine or unconditional, shall we say. And they wonder why they get they attracting all this fucked up stuff in their life. You are karma. And what is the root word to karma? Karma is action. Every day we doing something whether we know it or not, family. Every day we got this energy going. We either wasting it or we putting it towards something. That's why we say if you ain't got nothing going at this time, get on your magic. Get on your imagination. Start enjoying your life because if you don't, you end up letting this thing that we're going through overpower you to have you doing some dumb stuff out here. And you end up in jail or taking these little babies' lives or whatever the case may be, right? All the people that's, you know, steady robbing and, you know, acting like they ain't got no damn thing, right, to do when they could be, you know, trying to figure the who they truly are, right? Because you forgot who you truly are. And, and can we understand and know who we truly are down here? I say no, you know? That's why, you know, you got to find your, your divine counterpart, right? Your king or your, your queen. And y'all become one. And because that's what happened. You got split in half. This body is nothing but a trap. To keep me away from the one that I truly love, right? My goddess, right? But my mind is the key, right? My mind is the key to free me from the body. But if you think you actually the body, you get trapped. The demiurge can take over you, play games with you. Play games with those decisions. Play games with how you think you feeling and how you think you thinking. All of these different thoughts that you have. They they always not yours, family, right? And so that's why I was saying you can't let this knowledge become a vein to you, right? The 
vain knowledge or had you tripped out and you just think you're down here to just keep solving more problems. The time for solving problems, if you ain't got your shit figured out now, you you gonna be pretty much like I said, you going it's only gonna get worse for certain people, right? Cause they only create more problems. To solve them then create more problems. Right? You are karma, you are action, right? So you got to get out of this, all of these different things that you came down here to live out. Go and live that shit out. Learn your lesson so you can become the God. Why you think the true God don't fuck with us like that? All right? Because we've been serving and worshiping this fake shit down here the whole time. Right? The jealous God, the dark side of God. Right? Instead of becoming with the perfect one, right? Becoming with the perfect one, the, the unknown silent one, right? The unknown silent one, the holy mother, right? And that's why he won't fuck with you. Because you hanging on, you clinging on to this life. How long, how many lifetimes it's going to take for you to get it right, right? How many lifetimes it's going to take for us to get it right? How many times the world got a so-called end, right, for us to get this shit right? And it's deep, family. So just stay vigilant. Stay aware of what you truly desiring, what you truly thinking about, how you truly feeling inside, right? Are they really your thoughts or is it somebody trying to, you know, like we were saying earlier, trying to talk you up out yourself, right? Trying to put you down, right? Trying to talk down to you like they better than you, right? Like I said, I see everybody as an equal. It don't matter who they is, right? I don't mind helping or lifting up anybody, but I'm not going to step on nobody's path as well. That's why I only speak to those that vibrate on my frequency, right? Because I can see something. Uh, like in the like the picture they used to share a couple of years ago, one man standing on the side and he see a nine, right? The other man standing on the other side, he see a six. None of them wrong. None of them are wrong. They just seeing things from a different perspective. So he might see a nine, the next person might see a six. Oh well, we not here to. And prove nobody, right? You're not here to tell nobody that that they they full, you know, doing something wrong. They already know, right? They already know what they doing. They already know what they need to improve. Right? You're not here to hold nobody in. You're not here trying to persuade nobody to a certain point of view or convert them like I'm a pastor or a preacher would, right? I'm not here to steal something from you to sell it back to you. You are the Christ. You are the light. Just as well as you are the darkness. Right? Just as well as you are the darkness. So you have to access that power instead of keep giving it away and worrying about other people's shit. Right? Like I was saying, the brother asked me about the Will Smith and the Jada thing. Leave that shit alone, man. It's not your business, right? It's not your business. You just got to understand. If you don't understand and start enjoying your life, you will start doing shit that you normally don't do, right? That's what we're saying. You will start doing shit that you normally don't do. And you shouldn't be trying to keep up with none of these celebrities no way, right? They already, they already done you know, chose their faith. You you still have a choice to change your faith before this shit really go down and you lose your mind because you thinking you fucking human. You thinking, you know, that money really truly exists and shit. You are the prosperity. You create all of these things. You are the creator of your universe. You can keep playing, right? And acting like 
you don't want to, you know, accept that. Because like we were saying earlier, most people don't because they don't like dealing with decisions. So they rather leave it up and say, God, of this, of this realm, the one that don't, you know, that don't really care for you, you leave it to him, you're going to stay fucked up and worshiping something outside of you, right? There's nothing outside of you that's already within you. So you stop seeking, stop asking questions, you know, stop trying to problem solve everything you see. And you're going to stay in this, this mode and this, this, this ego that don't even exist without you. The body don't, you know, the demiurge, all of them, the, the lower angels, the lower demons, all of that stuff do not exist without you. Depression, right? Your trauma, all of this stuff just steady trying to exist because it knows if you start vibrating back to who you truly are, right, family? That it don't exist no more. That's, that, that false spirit doesn't exist no more. Why? Because you fail as Lucifer to rise up on the other polarity to become back to the Christ energy. Right? Your true mind state, the crown chakra. Right? The crown of the tree of Kabbalah. Right? The top cyprical of the tree of knowledge and good and evil. That if you stay stuck in the lower realm, the third dimension, as we shift into the fifth dimension, like we've been saying, it's only going to get worse for certain people. So be very aware of what you desire. Be very aware of the thoughts you have. Know that your every thought is not yours. Every feeling, every emotion you get is not yours. That's why it's energy and motion. If it's something negative, if it's something you know, you like, damn, why I'm thinking like this? Address that shit and flip it, right? Flip it. Instead of letting the, the negative energy, the ego, that don't exist, keep playing with you. When you the one that's really in the driver's seat, right? You the one that's really in the driver's seat of your reality. The ego just on the passenger side, right? Faking like he doing everything you doing. That the subconscious mind doing, right? So, family, man, I appreciate everybody that timed in. Like I said, I'm, I wanted to go and get this one out of my chest. So, uh, we can stay focused on our true desires, right? Not with the well, not with the TV telling you to believe in, right? Not with all of these fake people trying to convince you and tell you that you don't have it. You are the one. You are the Christ. You are already rich, right? You are already won. But if you still feeling like you fighting this fight, this fight that don't even fucking exist then you only dealing with duality instead of becoming the monk, right? The, the Buddha, right? The non-duality. No thoughts, but clear thoughts, right? When you not trying to feel like you steady trying to solve this, this big fucking equation out. There's no puzzle to this universe, family. No puzzle to this universe. So let's go and close it out, man. Get up off of here. Give me some more rest, man. Been a long one. LB, man. Shout out to LB, man. I'm telling you, man.
Yeah, man. Tell them they got to leave all this craziness alone, man. Stop trying to keep up with these celebrities, you know what I'm talking about? Appreciate everybody timing in, man. Uh, like I said, man, it's, it's becoming so easy to manifest whatever you desire. So you got to ask yourself, what do you truly desire, right? You get to a point where I'm at and you you really don't have that many desires, right? Uh, <clears throat> at least of this physical realm, what we talking about. Right, at least of this physical world, right? Um, and you begin to move into that non duality, right? That non duality, right? Because people get so caught up into the politics and we forget who we fucking are, right? Like we said, we're living in a Western mindset. All right, well, we was taught that we were sinners, right? We was taught to not be who we truly are. And we lost ourselves, right? So many people lost it, you know. I ain't going to say they lost their soul. They sold down here. When they supposed to be free in their soul, right? When they supposed to be free in their soul and, you know, enjoying their self. Cause it's cause the universe is within you, right? We say the universe is in your bones, right? The stars are a part of your soul. So when we look up and see all of these different things out there, 
we only seeing what's inside of us, what's inside of our mind, our divine mind, right? And so as we continue to move closer and closer to the fifth dimension, a lot of people are going to lose their mind because they, you know, they can't enjoy themselves, especially when they see the world going through what it's going through, right? Nothing wrong with with the earth. It's, it's the people, right? It's the people. It's the people. Their desires fucked up. What they really want, they don't know what they really want because either they don't know who they are, right? Or they already got what they want, but they can't see it, right? We just, you know, we accept the love that we think we deserve. We accept the friends that we think we deserve. We accept all the shit that we going through, all the problems that we think we have. We accept that stuff because we think we deserve it, right? You are wealthy, right? You are, you are wealthy, right? You, you know, we get caught into this thing. If we don't have this so-called material money, and we we get lost and trapped into this this uh, feeling of that we look we we haven't won, right? So we still, we, we still, you know, looking for something. We searching for something. So, man, with all that being said and presented, family, appreciate everybody timing in for the day. Uh, peace to the goddesses, right? Happy moon day. Peace to the gods, right? Rise in power to a new, right? Rise in power to Okalukalu, right? Rise in power to the, the perfect one. Rise in power to the Holy Mother. Rise in power to my ancestors and your ancestors, family. And to all gods known and unknown, family, I say, y'all finish y'all week strong, strong. Stay motivated, stay focused on what you truly desire, right? Peace, family. Peace.